Why are we here? What are we doing? How can we make it better? Those are those cliche questions that we ask, but they're pretty important. I'm going to tell a bit of a story about how my family and a few other families we know have tried to answer these questions. And I'm going to do this against the backdrop of a beautiful walk that my family and our friends did over the weekend. This is us. We've got a few things in common. We've all got kids. We're all from churchy backgrounds. And we've all found ourselves in a spot where we don't turn up to an arbitrary building each Sunday anymore. This dashingly handsome character is Paul. He's a legend. Paul reckons that when you're in nature, you've got a better shot of hearing from God. I probably agree, but I probably also think that when you're in nature, you're not so worried about your kids running around and making noise. So in some ways, it's just that lack of self-consciousness that makes it easier to focus on what God's saying to you. As we walked along, every now and again, Paul would whip out his Bible and read us a verse. He read out this one verse, Jeremiah 17, verse 7 and 8. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and it never fails to bear fruit. Tasty? Mm, got a bit of bark with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean look around at where we are and here's the verse that he's reading. You know there's something about the place you're in when you hear a word from God. It can really amplify what you've listened to. You know, we've got these great metaphors in the Bible, but they're so hard to understand and put into context. And then you're there, out in nature, in a place where it makes sense. Trust in God, good, like, we won't get burned. So here we are, out on a track, walking through the bush. Paul's dropped this truth bomb on us, and we're chatting away to each other. The kids are running around, they're having a great time, they're taking care of each other. This is it. This is our church. Now I don't want to get too carried away on philosophy or religion or what is church or what isn't church but look this is our church and this is what we do and I love it
What have we been doing today? We've been walking in the bush and having chocolate bunnies at the end. And now we're walking back to the car park. And then we're going home. Has it been a good day? Uh-huh. What's that noise? What noise was that? I don't know. It's bird. Okay, you say bye.